Welcome, folks. This is Will, KMAC Vintage. Um, haven't done a video in a while, uh, but I am here. I came back from Florida with a bunch of stuff, and I spent the last week making things that I need for the store um, um, and have them all ready for me to ship out tomorrow. I have a lot of stuff going up. Anyway, um, today, what uh, Sunday, Sunday night, a April 7th. It's about 8.30 here. We are on Central Time, so... That tells you what it is. Um, I am starting a, well, what else? A SE30 Reloaded that I got to do. This is for my friend and teammate um, that we um, create things together. Uh, one of them. The other, um, this one is uh, this one is actually Joachim over in actually Sweden. So he sent me a battery bombed SE30 board that I am, he wanted me to transfer, so... I'm gonna do that first. Um, haven't done a transfer in a couple of weeks, so I decided to do his first. I do have about three more I need to do after that for other people. So I'm looking forward to getting those done. Um, so anyway, um, I already taken off the the surface mount chips from the old board that I can salvage. Um, the FPU has broken legs, so I can't really salvage that. Um, and there are some other chips that are not salvageable that I'll put on new. They are chips that um, are available still. So I will be replacing those with some new. So for now, let's go over to the scope. And we're going to revise my scope well, because it's off the table. Okay, um, so we're going to start putting on some chips here. And I'm using my fume extractor a lot more, so you may get some noise from that. I'm sorry. I do have noise cancellation turned on, so... Um, I'm hoping it won't be too bad for you. Let me try to get this focus in. So, we're going to start off with some of these chips that I can put back on. Um, this one tube of flux is almost out. I'm going to have to get a new tube before we, um, now well, in a bit. I'm okay for now. So anyway. Uh, what do I need? What do I need? I need to put turn on my soldering iron here. Um, you got the side view there? Yes, you do. I just that computer's in my way that I can't see. And where are the tweezers I need? They're up here. Okay. And my solder is here. Soldering iron is on. Dog is under the table playing. Yep, eating his bone. Well, not a real bone, but So I came back from Florida and I had to make a lot of stuff, a lot of inventory items for the shop to sell because we were out of a lot of stuff. So what did I make? Um, I made 18 programmers, ROM sim programmers. Um, I had boards to make some ROM, so I made eight of the ROM, Universal ROM Sims. Um, 
because I didn't have parts, but I had the board. So made those. Um, made. Um, I made four Dan cards. I had five, but I had to send one from here to someone. So I have four available going up to Jake. Now I already added these items to the store, but um, since I added them, already two of those damn cards already sold. So there's only going to be two available. So if you need one, buy it quick. They go. I have ordered some more boards and parts. I'm going to make more. But those are on the way to me. And they have to go to my forwarder in Miami. And then he's got to do the needed paperwork. And then package them. And well, then, then forward them on down to Cayman. So it's not a very simple task. It takes a bit longer. So what else did I make? Um, did I take all three of these here? Um, I made 10 of the tech step cartridges. So those are going. Made some more ATC, well, uh, PCB, RTC. Replacement chips. Um, six of those going. I made 52. Yes, 52. Ram Sims. I actually made 56, but I'm holding on to four because I need to send those to someone. <clears throat> and I'll send it here from Cayman because it's going to another country. Not, it's not going to the U.S. or Canada, so. <clears throat> oh, speaking of that, I didn't take those out. I need to take them out of the bag. Right now on this board, I'm just going to put on the chips that I took off the surface mount ones. I'm not going to put on any of the custom PLCCs yet. Because I, I normally like to redo all of these supporting chips first. Okay. Now, none of these F258s I was able to salvage. Or these three resistor packs or this ls30 so all those will be new going on so where i will move to now is these chips here that are related to the video circuitry so we'll start from here Another thing I made, um, sorry, you don't see these, these resistor packs, chips that are back here. The, sorry, it's out of focus, but this SE30 has three of them. Those are a born, a Borns, um, uh, 50 ohm resistor pack network, and they don't make them no more. So, a great person, but um, Alex reverse well created a replacement 
it is open source um, using SMD components and so I ordered some of those from JLC with all the components already on there except for the legs and I made 24 of them because I need them for also for this project or for SE30 rewards that I do because they do fail quite often or they break like these on this board here I guarantee you if I go take those apart if I go take them off they're gonna break on me and there's no around that because there's so many different types of it so I made 24 of them the boards came to me already with everything on them except for the for the pin legs so I had to attach those so I made one sheet one sheet has got 24 on it So I made those, um, 10 of them already sold. Now I'll send this package out to Jake tomorrow. He'll probably get it by Wednesday. And then he will start shipping out the items that are already in there. Let's, oh, I don't even have the fume extractor on. Turn that on. Hopefully the noise is not too bad for you. Let me see. Doesn't seem to be picking it up, so that's good. Okay, got three more of these. This is the 166. And then two of the 393s. I may have to get a new 166 because I can't see. I can't see where the line used to be. I think it's there. I'm going to do a new 166. I don't like how that one looks. The 166 usually gets damaged. Because it's sitting there right by this cap. You see? There's a cap right there. So what did I bring to back to fix? So uh, three SE thirties. I have another Mac two. I have an eight forty AV. Got some boards for Scott, but I don't remember what they were. All right. And I have two sets of boards for Lisa's to try to see what I can do.
and I have a, a portable backlight. So now it's going to be a while before I go to the States again. So I got plenty of time to work on these on these boards for people. I'm not going up again now until September. I might have to go in May, but we'll have to see what happens there. Okay. I'm going to leave that flux there for the 166. We'll capture that later. I have this this small power inverter here. I'm also very bummed because a very dear friend of mine recently passed away here and came in. He's known him for years. He died young at the age of 63. That's a shame. Yeah, I don't want to throw that 166 away yet. Okay, what else do I have here that I can put on that are not PLCCs? All the rest are PLCCs. Okay, so let me turn this that off for right now. Um, let's get my parts. All right, let me see what chips are here. 258s, I need six of those. 240, I don't need. 166, I need. 293. And that's 30, I need. I'm digging through the other stuff that I need. I know that eventually. Uh, this one I'm not going to need. I'm not going to need. No. No. That I'll need. That I will. Be able to okay, that I'm gonna need. Here's some of the resistor packs that I need. Uh, I don't need a 22 ohms because I put those on. I'll need the fuses. I won't need that. 
more LS thirties. One K resistors on uh, just um resistor packs I'll need. Three ninety three. This board doesn't use three ninety three, so why do I have this in here? This I'll need. I'll need this because I need to replace the FPU. Okay, I think I have most of the stuff here that I need. Let's deal with the chips first. All right. Uh, since I have flux already on for the 166, let's deal with that first. I got two things of LS thirties here. This over so I got two of these bags. And I'm gonna need one of them anyway, so Yeah, let's do it. It goes over here. Okay. Here's my one sixty sixes. I have a lot of these because they're going to stop making them soon or a different version. And I know this one works, so I bought another one is a two fifty eight. I bought more of these also. I need to get some more of them. Because you see right now I'm going to use six of these. Yeah, I better add some of these to my list. The edge will go over there. Alright, let's get this one sixty six soldered on. There we are.
I'm gonna do this LS30 that's right here uh, where is it right there I'm turning it because you see the notch here, if I have to go with that line. Now let's do these 258s. Like I said, I got six of them. Mm -hmm. Let me turn that down for now. Move these out of the way here. Okay, let's start putting them some on some of them on the board here and all of these flipped over. You see where the line is. All right, so they're all sitting in place. Now let's solder them on. On each one, I'm only going to solder one side for now. Oh, fume extractor. Okay, so now we'll hit the sides. I have quite a few other stuff coming on the way too to me um, for my forwarder. I had to buy a new top view camera because mine died. I have some flux, some flux cleaner for the ultrasonic cleaners coming. I bought a case, of, case of six gallons of it. Mm. I have an actually hot plate coming. I want to try some hot plate stuff. All right, let me get these actually resistor packs here that I need.
I need one of the 220. They don't have make a 200 anymore. So I can use a 220 instead. So this now I want to check the schematic because I want to make sure I have the right location for it. You would think I have all these memorized, but I, I, I'm sure I have it at the right location. But RP9 is the 200, yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the hot plate. They'll help me making my RAMs and and ROMs and that. Okay. Those are all on. <laughs> and I have the two 175s and oh I need to order some of these. I need to write down what I said I need to order. One K two twenty ohm two fifty eight seventy five one seventy five And let's get these two put on. They're back here.
And it's going to run for that line. All right, so I got most. Of, I got. To, do I have all those chips on? Yeah, I do have all those chips on. But what I'm going to put on now is other little supporting things, like some transistors. Some surface mount transistors. So let's go put those on. Uh, I have them all here already. This I don't need for now. That I don't need for now. Fuses I'll need in a bit. The crystal I can put on. And I can do this crystal also. Alright, let's see. This is Q1 and Q3. Q1, Q3, need to order more of this one, let me write this down, this is the BT, Have so much of this. Don't know where I got so much of that, but anyway. something burning. All right, so we have those to put on. Let's get them sorted. There are those little guys right there that I put on the board. Other tweezers. So this is Q one and Q two. Q3 is over here. Q1 and Q3 are the same. Q2 is a different one. Then over here I have D1 and D2. These are the diodes for the battery and so forth. Oh. 
Okay. Those are all on. Um, I got three fuses to put more of these fuses. I thought I did, but let me write it down just in case. I, li I like these through hole fuses. I know I can use surface mounts also, but. You'll, you'll see them in a second. Let me just bend these legs. I also have at least one old school item on this board because it has the ability to use it. So, okay, so if you see, this is the fuse that I just put on, then there goes a diode there and another fuse right here. And then another fuse goes way over here. This is for the ADB. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to give these a little bit of solder tack from the top also. Now I'll go to the bottom side. Why attack from the top is so that I can go ahead and straighten up the two legs. And then make it easier to cut. All right, I'm going to give these a little cut. What else can I put on now? i got two crystals here I can go ahead and put on. The other crystal is one that we designed ourselves because I, I like to use more of the surface mounts, but this one was not available anymore as a surface mount because of the right size. So Jake, my other team member, made a um, adapter board that then we can use to mount this one. And you see, it's the one that goes here so we can even use we can either use a through hole one right there or a surface mount one but a surface mount was not available anymore so what we did was made this little pcb like this that then has the newer size crystal on the top and then all we do here is 
put a solder ball, put a solder pillows on this. Okay, and all we do is take this, put it here, we heat that side, push it down and it will stick. Okay. Do the same thing on this side. I didn't like how that looks, so I was trying to fix it, but I'm making a bigger mess. Okay, let's get that other one put on. This one goes right there. Okay, what else can I do that is surface mount like that? Nothing else. I'm at the point that I need to start putting on PLCC chips. So since I took out the new FPUs, let's put a new FPU on this. FPU goes right here. So I'll give you better views just one second here. All right, so how I do these PLCCs, you've seen them before. Um, just one corner at a time and then work your way around. Okay, now the only thing is I don't like about the PLCC, about the FPU and three other small little PLCs is there's almost no pad. So difficult to solder. I right, turn it around and come to this side. Right, you see, now I can move it around a little bit and line it up. Secure now. I'll slide this over and I start dragging. Exhaust.
Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just concentrating. I don't like doing this FPU. Oh, Because you see, you can't see the pads too well because the chip sits directly over them. Well, I can't see very well if they take solder. Okay. The next one is this little guy here. This is another one of those that hangs over hangs over the legs. Got two more chips like actually this, now the other ones are a lot easier. Alright, the other two, two little chips that are way back here.
Okay, and then I want to stick. Okay, got this one on. Be glad to finish these that are such a pain. Oh, we gotta do that little diode still too. I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. Use flux. Well. See how these look. I don't think I can. I'm gonna have to bring off the edge of the bore off of the bench. These small little ones, I like to check the legs. See, because you see that's how to I 
I check them. I don't like those small chips. All right, but at least all the small ones are done. You know what? I need to give this board a little cleaning. I have not done any cleaning. All right, I got one spot up here. Okay, all right, let's crop it down a little bit. I'll loosen up some of that flux. All right, let's keep on going. Let's see where we're at. Let's see, we can do some more PLCCs. This is the ASC chip. I'm gonna fix my focusing, don't worry. Okay, so this too, I'm gonna solder on the same way. But these are easier now, because these are better. I don't know, these seem to sit a lot better on the um, on the pads and I have a lot more legs to see. I have a lot more pads to see and it makes the soldering hell of a lot easier. Still sounding loose. Where will the flux disappear to? That one done. Next one, SEC.
This flux tube almost over. Alright, where's the alignment? Down here, iron unplugged. Right, I'm going to heat up the flux a little bit so I can see it through it and the pads. extractor All right, next one is a SCSI chip.
Okay. Next one is the swim. But I think I need to get some more flux. Well, and we'll all clean up as I heat it up. Oh boy. Problem here that this one is gonna want to stick on. You can see how doing these other PLCs are so much easier. Compared to the FPU and those other four small ones. Because you see, you see more of the pad, so you have a solder point. Okay. So I've done quite a bit on this board. Um, some of these other chips, I gotta go and find to get them. And what I have left are these two ADBs to put on uh, here. Well, sorry, not ADB, VS, and this ADB, and then the glue. Those are the last PLCs to put on. Four more. Then I can start on some of these other socketed items. Mm. So anyway, um, where am I with this board? So you get an idea. This is how far it is already. Um, this SC is in my way. So we got left to do our, these two vias, this ADB here, and then the glue. Those are the last PLCC sockets, I mean chips. So we've come a long way. A lot of the other ones that like all of these uh, all of these here this one here uh, these two down here all of these down here those are all going to be socketed and 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 actually dips so it'll be easy to do so we're moving along very good with this board but i am going to call it a quits it's almost 10 o'clock for me and um I have to be up early tomorrow because I gotta go to town early. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment at nine o'clock, and traffic is hell here. Uh, I want to add these items here to my shopping cart, and we go on from there. Uh, let me see here. I need to do. Make sure. Yeah, an hour eighteen minutes. That's a pretty good time for this video. Um, I'm sorry if it was kind of boring at certain points, but. I need you to see what it's really like this like um what it's really like to do this um you can see on my scope what i did was i temporarily added a piece of pipe here although this pipe is very stiff and put my put my 
extractor right there to pick up the fumes as I work. It's a little bit better, but it's not the finished product that I want. So anyway, um, so let me place this for you all. Please hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Eep. So, um, yeah, so folks, thank you for watching. Um, I am Will, KMAC Vintage. Um, visit me at um, kmacvintage.com. It's a coffee site. Um, my shop is there with a lot of things in it. Um, KMAC Vintage at, on X and on Blue Sky. You can find me there. Uh, there's no Facebook or anything. So, um, and email is kmacvintage at Google Mail System. You all know what that is, dot com. Um, so, um, make sure you watch part two of this video, which is where I'll probably finish this board. Um, I probably won't test it on that one. Um, then I'll make a part three where we probably test it with the tech step and see if there's any other issues or anything. Um, I've, I've had pretty good luck with these boards recently. So where they've, they've, they've worked well. So, um, I'm a bit worried about this one here because the, the CPU, you can see how bad it looks. And some of the legs down there might be a little bit rusted. Yeah, I can tell from the backside here. Oh, there we go. And let's go take a look at something here for a minute. They might already be broken. From there, but that's not the best of shape. Oop. And I'd be able to get the CPU out. Can you? Oh, shoot. I'm so sorry. You can't see how that looks. Apologies for that. It's not even focused the best for me either. So, there. Okay. So let's bring you back in focus now. Okay, well, maybe I can get it out of there. If not, we'll have to get another CPU. But anyway, folks, thank you. Thank you for watching, and you all have a good night. And um, like I said, find me on KMAC Vintage. Come back and look for part two, okay? And thank you. All righty, bye-bye.